So, now we will talk about the next example and this example we will take about tuning fork. Okay. Now, what is this? This is an instrument which you will find, you, you might have seen, you might have done the experiment in your own school uh, laboratory, it is tuning fork. Okay. And you know, uh, even the ENT, the ENT specialists, even the, these doctors they use it. What they do? They take the fork and they you know, just tuck it around the, against the, uh, that bed. And as soon as it is stuck, it vibrates, it starts vibrating very, very fast. Okay. So, just draw this, I will just let you know what it is. Now, see, it is somewhat like this. Okay. It has got two arms. Okay. It has got two arms which are known as prongs and this is known as stem. Okay. So, what it is? It is a tuning fork, tuning fork. Okay. What it is? It is a tuning fork where you can see it in the school laboratories or even with the doctors, ENT doctors, okay, ENT specialists. So, what has to be done? If it is taken and stuck against the bed, it vibrates very, very fast, okay. Now, if this vibrating fork, okay, if this vibrating fork is taken, now suppose this is a beaker where I have filled water. Now, when this vibrating fork is brought and uh, you know inside the uh, water, brought inside the water that does not mean that you have to drop it, okay. Means if you touch the vibrating arm with this water, you will see that you know the ripples are generated in the water, okay. Why does it is, why it is happening children? Because it is vibrating very fast and it you know it, this water moves in the form of the waves. In the same way the sound moves children, in the same way the sound moves, okay. So, you know even when this vibrates, if you bring a small very small thermocool ball you know, uh, attached to a thread and you keep it here near here, so you will find that even this starts moving apart, it moves apart. Why? Because of that vibration even this gets energy. Okay, so this is a little experiment when it is struck, the steady fork is stuck against a bed, it starts vibrating, okay, and again the sound is produced, okay. You just try to, when it is, you know, struck, it vibrates, sound is produced. If this vibration is again stopped, okay, how can you stop? Hold it, it will stop vibrating. If these vibrations are stopped, you won't be able to hear the sound which you were hearing, okay. So, again it proves that sound is produced due to vibrations, okay. Now, uh, from you know, from last 2 minutes or 5 minutes, so I am teaching only about the vibrations. I am talking again again about the vibrations. First of all, I spoke, I told you what is sound. What is sound? It is a form of energy which gives our ears sensation of hearing, isn't it? Sound is a form of energy which gives our ears a sensation. Then I told that how does it produce? It is produced due to vibrations, okay? What is sound? It is a sensation felt by our ears. It is a form of energy which is felt by our ears. How does it produce? It is produced due to vibrations. Okay, I am talking continuously about the vibrations. So, what are the vibrations? Children, movement, very fast movement are vibrations. Okay, I will tell you exactly, this is just a rough idea I am giving you. I will tell you exactly what are vibrations. Okay, just even you know talk about the speakers. Speakers at your home, just take the speaker and you know, um, that net part, okay, that net part on this net part from where the noise is coming. Keep small pieces, uh, pieces of, you know, uh, like thin, uh, the thing, stick, very thin or even, you know, brooms part uh, to sweep when the broom is used, small particles, small uh, pieces of that. Keep it on the 
net part of the speaker, netted part of the speaker, you will even see that those particles are moving. Why these are moving? Now I won't tell the answer because now it is told many a times. Okay, so even it will start moving. So again, again when I'm talking, again, again I'm saying about vibrations. So now we will talk about vibrations. That what is vibration? What are vibrations? Okay. So now we will talk about vibrations. Vibrations. Okay. Now what is the meaning of vibration? Vibration means movement, very fast movement. But where? Where fast movement? If you are taking your car and you are moving very fast. Does it is a does does it means it your car is vibrating? No. Movement in which way? Again, again the same path. Just see the uh, if you have seen the pendulum. If you have seen the pendulum clock, that pendulum's motion is vibrating or its oscillatory motion. Okay, it's what its oscillatory motion. Now we'll talk about more about the vibrations. Okay. So, what is vibration, children? It is to and fro motion, to and fro motion, or back and forth motion. Okay. So, how does uh, it creates a sound? First of all, how can we create a vibration? I'll just let you know. This is a. I'm making a pendulum. Okay. This is a thread. Which is attached to one support, and here I have, you know, tied a bob, okay, a bob to the string. What's the meaning of bob? Uh, iron mass, small, uh, okay, which has got a hook also to tie. If we do not get a bob, then just if, even if you tie a stone, then also it will work like a. Like it will, it can show vibration. Nothing wrong in that, isn't it? Now, suppose this point I name as P. Suppose this point I have given the name as P. Now, this point is A. Okay, this point is A. Okay. Now, when you push the stone slightly, okay, what will happen? What will happen when you push the stone slightly? It will come this side, okay? But it will again go back, isn't it? It will again go back, but it will go this side also. So it will also come to this side, isn't it? It will come this side, but it will again go this side. Then it will go this side, but it will again come this side, isn't it? This position is known as mean position. This is known as what? Mean position. This one. It is known as mean position. Let me rub this. Okay. So this is what? Mean position. Just try to understand, children. One thread is taken. Okay. One thread is taken. It is attached to a support. Okay, one thread is taken. It is attached to the support. Now, to the other end, a stone is tied. If bob is available, well and good. Bob is tied, or if the bob is not there, then you can even tie the stone. This is a mean position, stationary position. Okay, it is at the center, just center in the position of wrist. When you push it. Okay, when you push it slightly, it will go this side, but it will again come here. It will again go this side, but it will again come here. Okay, now this is point A. When it is pushed, it goes till B, but it again comes to A. From A, it goes to C, but it again comes to A. Okay, so this is what the motion is. Okay. This is what the motion is. Now, before discussing, you know, the details of the pendulum. Before discussing the more, you know, new words, we'll just talk a little bit more about the vibrations 
will define vibrations in one or two ways and then we will proceed ok. So, what do you mean by vibration children when it moves here it again comes here it again comes here. So, this is what a vibration ok this is what a vibration. So, how can we define children how what is actually happening this is to and fro motion to and fro to and fro motion is not it this one is to and fro motion back and forth motion again coming here again going there that means this is a mean position, but it goes on both the sides on both the sides to a particular point it goes again comes here and then again what it like continuous this motion is uh, no can be seen continuously ok. So, this this is what this is nothing but vibration ok this is what vibration. So, how can we define vibration children what do you mean by vibration. So, vibrations are just to and fro movement ok. Now, I am writing the definition of the vibration a vibration is a to and Pro movement. If I just have to draw a line also here. So, okay. So a vibration is a to and fro movement. If this vibration stops, if this vibration stops even sound stops even sound stops. So, what is vibration a vibration is a to and fro movement and if this vibration if this vibration stops even sound stop ok. If this vibrations if this vibration stops even sound stops that means, without vibration there can be no sound ok. Without until unless the vibrations are there there will be no sound which can be heard or no sound at all ok. I can define it in other way also ok. So, when a body moves very fast ok when a body moves very fast ok following following a fixed path ok following a fixed path this is very very important what is important fixed path that means it is moving here and here only ok from one side from one side to the other side ok. Now, what is vibration in the second one what I have written is a vibration is what it is to and fro movement, but it is where to and fro movement how and what is to and fro movement movement in the fixed direction is it it from its wrist position this is a wrist position it will go either sides either side means both the sides it will go this side also it will go this side also, but in the fixed position that means it will not go once it has started going till here and will not suddenly start moving there ok. So, when a body moves very fast ok when a body moves very fast following a fixed path following a fixed path from one side to another ok following what following a fixed path from one side to another is known as vibration ok. So, now we know few things we know that sound is energy which can be 
felt no? it is it gives sensation to our ears then how does it produce it is produced due to vibrations how vibrations uh, can be like what are vibrations they are very fast movement they are to and fro movement they are back and forth movement okay or what are vibrations vibration is what when a body moves very fast on the fixed path fixed path where from the rest positions to the both from rest positions ne from rest position to both the sides means either sides okay so this is what actually vibration is it is very fast movement it is to and fro movement again again following the same path okay so this is what is vibration okay now again one very important thing which i am repeating again again that when this vibration stop when vibration stop even the sound stop without vibration there can be no sound if vibration is not there then even the sound will not be there so what you can write you know even we can write that sound is a vibration that can be heard that can be heard okay i can even say in this way that sound is what it is a vibration isn't it but which kind of vibration which can be heard so sound is a vibration that can be heard okay so how sound is produced children sound is produced when any object moves very fast very fast in a fixed position isn't it so now in this way the sound is produced okay now this much is over now we'll talk about few you no know, uh, something about the diagram okay so this is a diagram of what a pendulum okay this is what a pendulum diagram now if i want to talk about the characteristic feature of the sound if i want to talk about the characteristic feature of the sound then what are the characteristic feature of the sound okay we we'll just listen understand first of all over here okay and then we will write and discuss now see this is a thread okay the point p and a to the point a the bob is attached now these are the two points ab and ac okay now children please understand now i will talk about some new terminology i'm talking about the amplitude what is the meaning of amplitude i'll just explain first and then we will write okay what is the meaning of amplitude children amplitude is the maximum distance maximum distance covered by the vibrating body please try to understand children what is a vibrating body here what is vibrating vibration means what very fast movement isn't it so what is vibrating it is vibrating this stone is showing the movement okay so what is vibrating stone is movement stone is showing movement isn't it so what is an amplitude i am talking about amplitude what do you mean by an amplitude amplitude is the maximum okay maximum distance covered by what vibrating body it is the maximum distance covered by a vibrating body so now this is what amplitude now just see c point is a maximum point isn't it so this is what like c and here what b so this is what amplitude of this vibrating body okay now what is the meaning of oscillation one complete uh, swing one complete swing is known as what one oscillation now what is complete swing now see body starts from a it goes to b 
it again comes to A and then again it goes to C and from C what will happen C? A to B, B to or else I will just write both the letters and so it will become easier for you. It will go from A to B point, from B it will again come back to A, okay. from A where it will go to C and from C where it will come to A. That means this movement, okay, this complete movement is known as what? One complete oscillation. So, this complete movement, which complete movement? It will, you can take any point, it is not necessary when I have started from A, so you even you have to start from A, no. You can start from B also, B to A, A to C, C to A and A to B. So, when one complete movement takes place then it is known as what? One oscillation, it is known as what? One oscillation, okay? it will be known as what? One complete oscillation. Now, what uh, this is? This is a pendulum, it is vibrating, we have understood few new words now. Okay? We understood now what is pendulum, okay, this one is a pendulum, we understood this is a mean position, okay, the rest position, the when it is not pushed, okay, the center position, it is known as mean position, this also we know. Now when we push it, it will go on both the sides. Okay. Now, the maximum distance covered by the vibrating body means if it is C, this is a maximum. Okay. After this again come back, this is a maximum, after this again it comes back. This maximum movement is uh, known as what amplitude means the what maximum distance covered by a vibrating body is known as what amplitude this we know now. Okay. Now, one complete oscillation, okay, one complete vibration from this movement to this movement it is known as what? Means complete A to B, B to A, A to C and again to A. This complete movement is known as what? One oscillation. It is known as what? One vibration, one oscillation. Now, what more is left? Now, time taken, okay, time taken. The amount of time taken for the completion of one oscillation, okay. Just from here, if it is coming here, then here and then here, okay. This is a complete oscillation. So, the time taken for one oscillation, the time taken for one complete swing, the time taken for one complete vibration is what is known as what time period, is known as what time period. Now, what we are studying children, we are studying the characteristics, okay. We are studying the characteristics of sound, okay. So, what are the characteristics of sound? What we are studying? We are studying amplitude, we are studying oscillation, we are studying time period, okay. Now, I will wrap this and write the definition and will again explain so that the things become very clear to you. Now, before this we started with the sound. What is sound? It is just a sensation felt by our ears, okay. It is a form of energy. How does it is, how it is produced? It is produced due to the vibrations. Now, what is vibration? Vibrations are to and fro, to and fro movement, okay. The back and forth movement is known as what? One like what it is? It is oscillation, okay. Now, after this what we are studying? We are studying about the pendulum, okay. Where we studied about the amplitude, the maximum distance, the maximum distance covered by the vibrating body is amplitude. Complete one oscillation, okay. Complete one swing is what? One oscillation. The time taken for this complete oscillation is what time period. Now, more things are there. We have to do discuss frequency also and lot more, many. So, we will just rub the blackboard and I will just write also so that things become more easier, okay. Okay. So, 
just now we have studied vibration what is vibration to equal like equal distance covered okay equal distance covered in two opposite direction is vibration isn't it equal distance covered equal distance covered in what in two opposite direction after this we were studying about the pendulum now again I will draw it and I will write also this is a support this is a thread this is the bob point P point A ok from here it goes till this point C B from B it will come to A and from C also it will come to A ok what is one now we will talk about the I will keep on explaining and writing now see now we are either we can say that we are talking about amplitude time taken time period or oscillation ok or even we can talk we can say that we are studying the characteristic feature of this sound we are studying the characteristic feature of the sound see in different different books these will be given by different headings so no need to worry about ok so even you can study this thing uh, you know separately that amplitude time taken oscillation and even this can be taken as a characteristic feature of the sound so first I am talking about amplitude ok now what is the meaning of amplitude children see it is the maximum distance ok it is the I will just draw this till here only ok so what is amplitude it is the maximum distance covered by a vibrating body so I will write here it is the maximum distance covered by a vibrating ok vibrating body ok what is amplitude amplitude means maximum distance covered by a vibrating body now what is the maximum distance here here b and this side c isn't it so maximum distance covered by a body is what its amplitude ok one minute now can we increase and decrease the amplitude can we increase or decrease the amplitude just take an example now so this is a string which we have taken now this one is still here so it will see I will tell you suppose this is 5 centimeter isn't it so it will go here also till what what distance it will cover whatever it is covering now suppose if I am taking 25 centimeter long thread suppose it is coming till here ok so when it is pushed it will cover greater distance isn't it it will cover greater distance if a swing is very small ok the the strings of the swings are very small ok it cannot go very far now suppose this is a swing ok now this is a swing it is moving ok here and here and here but now in next case if I have taken such a long string ok such a long string then what will happen this will go it will cover more distance isn't it so children what is the meaning of amplitude it is the maximum distance covered by an by a vibrating body and can it be increased or decreased yes it can be increased or decreased if depending upon what depending upon this length isn't it if the length is more the amplitude will be more if the length is less then the amplitude will be lesser isn't it so it depends upon the distance covered by the body 
which can be increased or decreased or I can say it depends upon the height is not it height of the stone where it is just it is hanging ok if it is still here then amplitude will be increased if it is here ok just imagine if small this one is there ok this this is a pendulum only with this much string ok so with what will happen it will be it again depends upon the force also ok if it if you are pushing it like this it will go and come till here but still what this again matters if you take it very big if it is this big so it is going to go till greater distance is not it it will cover greater distance if this thread is longer than this distance will be increased ok this is a distance is not it this is what distance amplitude from here to here this is amplitude maximum distance covered maximum distance it is what again then it is what length only so how it can be measured children what can be the unit so it can be measured it can be measured in what centimeter and meter centimeter and meter ok if it is what it is a distance it is a what it is distance and so it can be measured what in centimeters or meters see children it is a maximum distance means what it is the maximum like it comes till here so again we have to measure so we cannot measure it into liters ok or um, you know the degrees is not it which kind of unit is this it is again a distance that is the reason what it is it can be measured in centimeters and meters ok. So, this is about the amplitude, amplitude is a maximum distance covered by a vibrating body. Now, we will talk about time period ok. So, next we are going to talk about time period, time period. Now, the what is time period? The time taken to complete one oscillation is not it the time taken to complete time taken by whom I am taking or you are taking nobody is taking is not it. So, who is taking time this vibrating body is taking is not it. So, time taken by a vibrating body. So, time taken time taken by a vibrating body ok time taken by a vibrating body to complete to complete what time taken to time taken by a vibrating body to complete one oscillation one oscillation ok it is what it is time. So, it will be measured in what it should be measured in what children it should be measured in seconds. So, it is measured in seconds ok it can be measured in seconds what is time period nothing children just time ok time to complete whole this one thing ok one oscillation now what is the meaning of oscillation. So, now I will talk about now I will talk about what I will talk about oscillation what is oscillation children one complete vibration ok one complete vibration is known as what one oscillation ok. So, I am talking about oscillation ok what is the meaning of oscillation children one complete swing ok one complete swing is known as one oscillation. Now, what is the complete swing children 
when the when the vibrating body travels from what suppose i start from a so a to b okay a to b and then again b to a isn't it it will go here without reaching here it cannot go here it has to come here so b to a then a to c okay and then again to a so this whole complete swing okay so one complete swing this complete one swing is called as one oscillation okay this complete swing is known as what one oscillation okay now we'll talk about fourth one we'll talk about again a new word which is what frequency frequency now what is the meaning of frequency okay now see i'll tell you what is the meaning of frequency now see this it goes and this swing is has to be completed one swing isn't it the number of time children Num number of time is the uh, you know how many time does a swing complete how many times does a pendulum completes the swing how many swing does it makes how many oscillation does it makes okay that is what frequency okay now see if i rotate my hand like this okay if i rotate my hand like this so what is this if i do this in one second if i in one second if i rotate my hand in one time so what it is frequency is what one if i rotate it 10 times then frequency will be what 10 means how many time does it is completing okay oscillations are being completed okay how many uh, how much how much okay how much time okay the oscillation is like how many oscillation are being completed is known as frequency so what shall i write children the number of vibrations the number of vibrations okay the number of vibrations or oscillations completed in there is no place to write now there is no place i'll write here only completed in one second i am not able to write over here but still okay so we have read few things okay what are the things which we have read children we are talking about a pendulum okay now what is a pendulum i took a thread it is supported it is attached to a support okay it is this thread from one end is attached to a support from the other end a stone or a bob is tied to the other end a bob or a or a said a stone is tied okay now what else are we talking we we have to know about this pendulum this is what a pendulum this is a mean position this is a mean position okay this c and b are what extreme positions extreme position okay now when the body is at rest okay when the body when the pendulum is at rest what will happen like we will say like no vibrations are there 
it's not showing any kind of oscillation but when you push this bob when you push this stone slightly it will just not only go to one side children this will never happen children please pay like you know please uh, be attentive over here uh, try to understand the if you are pushing the bob in one direction don't even think that it will go only in that direction and won't go in this direction no it will cover both the sides okay so it will go here also it will come back and again it will go this side so what is the meaning of one whole complete vibration or oscillation starting from the wrist a it will go to b from b it has to go to c but it will come the middle position the wrist position the mean position will come that means a will come from a it will go to c and again it will go to reach to a this whole one swing this whole one vibration is one oscillation or one vibration okay now we are talking about amplitude what is the meaning of amplitude children the maximum distance covered by an object the maximum distance covered by an object is known as what amplitude when i'm saying distance that means what has to be the units it can be the smallest one the centimeter and the meter okay now when i'm saying amplitude can it be increased or decreased it can be increased or decreased depending upon the height of the stone on which it is released okay depending upon the height of the stone on which it is released now next one is what time period now till in time period is what the time taken to complete one oscillation the time taken to complete one complete oscillation so time taken by a whom you or me no the time taken by a vibrating body to complete one oscillation clear now see when i'm saying time so it cannot be measured in liter meter kilometer degree okay so how it can be measured it can be measured in seconds okay so time taken by a vibrating body to complete one oscillation it is measured in seconds okay it is measured in seconds now what is the meaning of oscillation children what is the meaning of oscillation this complete one swing we have discussed one complete swing is one complete oscillation okay now frequency the number of times this oscillation is completed okay now i'm completing this see this is a mean position it goes down it comes up so this is one complete oscillation how many times does it vibrates in one second okay how many times the hence vibrates in one second is the is what frequency so the number of vibrations or oscillations completed in one second okay this is what children this is frequency okay now how frequency can be measured children frequency it is no place to write frequency is measured in hertz frequency is measured in hertz if in one second if i do it in this you know 10 times so what is the frequency 10 hertz okay so what will be the frequency how how it has to be said how it has to be told it will be told as 10 hertz is it it so what is frequency the number of vibrations completed in one second how it can be measured the, what is the unit i mean to say the unit is hertz okay and if in one second the number of whole vibrations completed complete vibration is 10 then it can be said that the frequency is 10 hertz okay the frequency is 10 hertz okay now so 
what we are studying we are studying characteristic features of sound or just you know you can take it separately also see sound travels in the form of the waves okay sound travels in the form of the waves to understand that okay to understand that all these things okay when i say that sound travel in the form of the waves then the three basic quantities has to be mentioned not this one this three basic quantities has to be mentioned now we'll talk about more okay we'll talk more about the remaining features now we will discuss about the loudness the pitch and the timbre okay we'll discuss about loudness we'll discuss about what pitch loudness and timbre okay so just i'll clean this